apparently I was doing a, a deal. I was going to raise money for a junior exploration company based in WA and we're going to look for gold. And I was like, got back from lunch. And I'm like, what's this guy on? I don't even know what he's <laughs> talking about. I don't know what this company is. Yeah. And um, I then called my head of corporate, so the investment banking team, and said, look, are we doing this deal? And he's, they're like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I rang the CEO. He then says, Tolga, you're going to Perth tomorrow. And I was like, what? So I don't know if it's like in traffic in Sydney, but when it's raining, getting to the airport is a nightmare, right? So it's raining cats and dogs and traffic is hell and I missed my flight. I'm in the taxi, got there, realised I was not going to make it, just got back in the taxi and I was driving down. I rang him up, rang Alan and said, Alan, you know, I'm just going to go back to the office. And he's like, with this accent, this real thick accent scaring me. And I was like 30 years old. Got out of the taxi, walked back up the ramp in the rain, went back, bought another ticket, got on a plane and went to Perth. And that company, I did do the, the raising, I did do the IPO. And it was a number one performing IPO in 2009, 10. What was it? It's called Dore Minerals. Okay. Listed at 20 cents. Went to a buck 60. I think we raised them $35 million in the process. Um, so I went from not going to do it, not going to get on the plane, not knowing if this transaction was happening, to then being behind the number one IPO in, in that year. 